Hello everyone, thank you for joining us again on this rainy day. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how we built this simple compact heater that uses uh, lantern wicks to heat this inner tube which displaces heat through this fan right here out into your open area. Um, can use this to heat tents, you can use this to heat greenhouses, you can even use it to heat your own house. Um, we used this lantern oil, but you can use vegetable cooking oil, you can use diesel fuel, but you cannot use anything that has a volatile combustion to it. So you cannot use gas. If you use gas, this will no longer be a heater. This will be a bomb. So just keep that in mind for the future. If you plan on building something like this, or if you plan on copying our idea or anything. Another thing, if you use this in your house, a place where you live, make sure that you have proper ventilation and as an extra precaution you want to have some, some type of carbon monoxide detector because if you're not ready and paying attention this thing can fill your house up with smoke and that's it. So thank you for joining us today. I'll show you how you put this together. We got this busted microwave at the dump and we need this uh, tempered thermal glass out of the front of the door. So what we're, I already took the, this trim molding or plate off. So all we gotta do is simply open it up, pop, uh, pop it off the hinges like that, and it comes right off. And so now what we have to, what we have to do is disassemble the microwave to get to the, um, the transformer. And we're gonna start that process now. Yeah, this is taking a while, isn't it? Oh, shot. We got it. Right now we're going to measure for the heat exhaust tube. And I got 19 and then I'm going to add 8 inches for 4 inch of extra on each side. Alright, so we got this piece of 3x3 three three tubing. I'm going to make my cut at 27 and then we're going to inlay it into the ammo can. Alright. Trying to, I want to make sure that we can put this glass on here and it not hit that door right there. So I'm getting an idea where we're gonna have to cut it. That's like a coating, so we got to make sure that's is facing out because I don't think it'll burn, but I don't know what it is. Let's take this through this pipe. We want to go through something like this. Put this one here just in case we need it. All right.
towards me or go out. Yep. You gotta line it up. Push it. Yep. Wiggle it. It'll go. This is what we're using from Trick Tools. Open it up. These are awesome. Well worth the money. Carbide tips. Make sure when you do it, you have that ring on there or you will never get the bit off. Ask me how I know. Whoops. What happened? We tried to cut the glass using an old school method of arcing on a piece of wire and making it glow in red. And I guess since this was tempered, it didn't like the heat too much and it exploded. Alright, so. Microwave glass didn't work. Well, the whole reason we had to use a microwave glass is because we ordered this bad boy, this bad boy, so you can't see it, off Amazon, but obviously it's a little bit too small. But we're going to have to use it anyway since microwave glass didn't work. So, all we need is an inspection door, right? A glass door so we can see at the oil level and we can see what's burning. We should be able to see all the flames through here mm -hmm. so instead of having a big glass door which would be nice but we don't need it we're in we're trying to heat something not look at it if you want to look at it we do another one a little different so i like your idea since that's cut out where's that glass and by having it offset like that see everything you can kind of see across the flames i think that's a great idea so about right there All right, so basically what I did is we marked out uh, how we were going to inlay the glass. And so what we came up with, we came up with basically like a picture frame, is we cut out four tabs. And so we're going to flip this over, and we're going to recess the glass on the back of here, open the tabs up, and then put the glass in and bend the tabs back, and then silicone around the edge. And so hopefully that will be our inspection glass for the flame and the oil levels. All right, so we got these two packs of wick off of Amazon for like six bucks. So what I got to do is the wick material is going to go down in the jar, obviously like this, and it's going to stick out of the top. But we need a way to hold this in here so that we can pull it up as the wick gets consumed and it not fall back into the hole. So what I got here is a Timberlock star bit, and it's real close to the diameter of that. So I'm just gonna take this, and there's already a nice round spot right there. So I'm gonna set it there, and I'm gonna line this up in the middle, and I'm gonna knock it through. And hopefully it, oh, freighted enough that my wick will go through. It's not quite big enough But 
I believe that I can get it through with a little motivation. There you have it. And it won't pull back through. Fabulous. Hey, it pulls up really easy too. Look at that. Will it fall down? Perfect. One down. We gotta eat some more spaghetti though. We need another jar. All right, so we got this stove gasket cement, which is basically heat resistant silicon. And uh, so I already cut the tip to line the inside of this. So I'm gonna take this punch and shove it in here. And so that way the silicone will come out nice and smooth. And then now we are good to go. We got our silicone laid. Now we're gonna come in and put our glass in and then lay our tabs down so that silicone can set. Uh, also, we got some cheap made in China fans, supposedly PC fans for your computer. Um, we're gonna use them, I think these are like two of them for like 10 bucks, something like that. I don't remember. Anyway, when you get these, we're using 12 volt DC, direct current. So we're gonna use a battery because this is to put heat into the greenhouse. We don't have power over there. So we're just gonna put a little car battery over there that we'll charge and let it run. I really don't want it to run that fast anyway because I want it to slowly blow the air out. If it runs too fast, it's gonna end up cooling down the pipe and we just won't get good heat transfer. So uh, anyway, cheap fans, we'll see what happens. Now we gotta adapt gotta adapt this to here and I haven't decided yet if we're just gonna get some scrap metal and flare it down or whatever so that's the next step Something's off right here. This is our fresh air intake, so that it just if you use this in a tent or camping in a cabin or whatever you want to be able to pull fresh air in from outside and then exhaust the combustion chamber outside too so you don't smell the fumes and you don't have carbon monoxide and all that stuff so if you put this here we can you can get just a cheap 
vacuum cleaner hose like this and say you were camping in a tent or even even if you were camping at Walmart in your truck you could run this out through a little hole or a window or whatever to pull in fresh air just get some cheap water heater exhaust duct work and run that out through the top so you don't smell any of the burning oil or candles or whatever you put in here you get the stink out but you capture all the heat that's the whole point of this it's a portable heater go camping cabin tent back of your truck in walmart parking lot whatever you want to do with it we're using it in the greenhouse so that we don't put soot on all of our new seedlings that we're going to try to get a head start on the spring by keeping it warm when it gets cold and so this is just a, hey, let's heat the greenhouse so we can get a head start on the spring.
different so it's about 60 degrees in the shop we got the fireplace going it's cold outside but it's about 60 61 degrees in here we got our flames going inside this is our inlet side and already you can see it's pretty warm and it will go up probably to 130 140 degrees chimney you can touch it but it's obviously warm hard to pick up the temperature with the so it's it's really hot on top all right so let's go to the outlet side here look at that 100 100 degrees or so of or 90 degrees 30 degrees warmer 35 degrees warmer than inside the shop right now Don't tape over the hot because we don't want somebody getting burned on it, okay? They, what? Might, they might not see that it's an H and they might get burnt. What? I'm just saying. That's dumb. You're weird. You're not too old to be giving up for a dog. I actually am. Don't tape over the hot. I think I think the duct tape is the most expensive part on this whole yeah. project. Seventeen dollars a roll. What the Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out.